In the world of business, even the enemy can become a partner. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And finally, finally we get the answer to the question that we've been waiting on for so long. Where is Orlando Brown Jr. going to get traded? What are the Ravens going to receive? And in this case, what are the Ravens going to give up uh, in order to move Orlando Brown Jr.? Before we get into this video, please try to spread positivity, man. Please. It's, it's so important, especially nowadays with so much going on. Please try to be nice to people, be good to people, be kind to people, uh, and just show love. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for checking in. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching this channel. Thank you for that, because I seriously appreciate it. Now, the Ravens have traded Orlando Brown Jr. to the Chiefs, and they received the Chiefs' first round draft pick. But it's not that simple. It's just it's a lot more detailed than that. Let's look at this. So the, the Ravens get the Chiefs' number 31 overall pick. So they get, now they got 27 and 31. So what does this allow them to do? This makes their uh, probability, or well, if they want to, but this increases their chances of if they want to move up, they can. They got two first round picks, they can do that. But you know, Ravens, they love accumulating picks. They love getting all the picks that they can possibly get. But anyway, um, they receive uh, the Chiefs, their first round pick, a third round pick from this year, and a fourth round and the 2022 fifth round pick. Um, so, okay, that's 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 cool. Uh, but what did the Chiefs get? Because like we said, the deal is not just, it's not so simple. Uh, the Chiefs get Orlando Brown Jr. and Ravens 2021 second round pick. So Ravens, in order to get a first, they had to give a second and the player. Now that, I didn't see that coming. And they also gave up a, a 2022 six rounder. So that's not a big deal. Um, I mean, it's a low pick, whatever. But them giving up Orlando Brown Jr. and the second round pick, I didn't see that coming. Now, they did get a decent, they, did, they got a good amount back. Um, a first round pick this year, third round pick this year, and a fourth round pick this year. But yeah, I was a little bit, uh, I was a little bit shocked by that. But hey, you got two first rounders. So what does this do for both teams? Well, we're going to talk about it. First, let's talk about the Chiefs. The Chiefs, man, you got to give it to Kansas City because they continue throughout this entire offseason. They continue to show you that the cap is cap. The cap is cap. Now, we know Orlando Brown Jr. is still on his rookie deal. He's still on his rookie deal. And the, it's, it's been said that the Chiefs are going to work with the long-term extension. They're going to work on a long-term extension with Orlando Brown Jr. So, okay, cool. That's fine. But... They continue, despite having Patrick Mahomes, Kelsey, uh, Hill, despite having all these guys signed to these big-time deals, they still keep it moving. They still continue making this team better. They still keep making this team stronger. They learned in last year's playoff game that our, we are just as strong as our offensive line is. And what did they do? They made the offensive line that much better. That much better. With Orlando Brown Jr. Now, was he the best left tackle in the world? No, he wasn't. But was he the worst? No, he wasn't. So you got a solid left tackle there. And a guy who's probably going to be your future. I mean, he, you just gave up a first round pick in some form. But he's, he's going to be your future. But he is a young guy. He's got experience playing both sides of the line. He's been healthy. And, hey, he's trying to prove himself. He's trying to prove himself. Two-time pro bowler. Resume looks great so far in his young career. He's going into, what, his fourth year? It's younger. It's, this is a beautiful thing. So good job for the Chiefs. Good job for Orlando Brown. Now, what do the Ravens get? They get an additional, again, first-round pick. They get a third-round pick, a fourth-round pick. So they got, they got some change. Um, and now they also have a hole at the right tackle position. Now, um, this is... Ravens have had plenty of time to plan for this stuff. So it's not like all of a sudden the Ravens traded Orlando Brown Jr. And now they're like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? We traded our right tackle. What are we going to do? No, they traded him because they have a plan in place to replace Orlando Brown Jr. So we're going to see exactly how that plan gets executed. Now, my preference, like I've always said, my preference was, of course, to always keep Orlando Brown Jr. I would have preferred that so you don't create more holes. But... I do completely understand why the Ravens would trade him now instead of later. Because it just makes sense. It makes sense. 
because now would be the time when you can get the most for him the easiest route because if you wait till next year you can possibly get the third round comp pick or next year if you wanted to trade him and get something right then and there you would have to place the franchise tag on him things could get ugly and then it just it wouldn't be good now i am a little bit surprised and to me what this says about this trade it shows me that eric da costa he couldn't get he couldn't really get anything higher that's what this trade is telling me and that's I'm not taking a shot at Eric DaCosta, but that's what I'm that's what this trade is telling me about the Orlando Brown Jr. that Eric DaCosta and the Ravens, they couldn't get anything higher than this. Because this is this is the thirty first pick in the draft. First round pick, good. But I honestly I did expect a, l- a little bit higher. I expected a little bit higher. But this shows that teams they weren't biting. They weren't biting. They were like, Oh, they trading Orlando Brown Jr.? Okay. We'll offer him a little something. So maybe he was offered maybe some second round picks. And I never thought that Orlando Brown Jr. would go for anything less than a first. Ever. I, I, there was never any point in time where I thought, oh, well, may, maybe he goes for like a second, third, or second and third. or may, No, never. Not once. We always knew that the lowest that uh, the Ravens were going to get was going to be a first round pick. The absolute lowest. That was the floor. And they got that. But I am a little surprised that... um. I'm a little surprised that they, uh, I'm surprised that they, that's the highest that they got. So, it is what it is. Uh, and now we'll just see how both teams move going forward. And now it's funny because these two teams play each other. The Ravens and the Chiefs, they play each other this year. Again. And the Ravens have absolutely owned I mean, the Chiefs have absolutely owned the Ravens. I mean, I wish I could say the Ravens absolutely owned the Chiefs, but they haven't. The Chiefs have owned the Ravens. And as a straightforward Ravens fan, I don't have no problem saying that because it's the truth. It is the truth. <laughs> you know Orlando Brown ain't complaining. He like, oh man, y'all traded me. Y'all, y'all traded me to the Chiefs? Oh yeah, let's go. He is with it. <sighs> but mm, I'm I don't even know, man. I don't even know what to say. I really don't kinda lost about this whole thing. It it it, it hasn't really sunk in yet. That Orlando Brown Jr. is going to be a Kansas City Chief this year. Out of all teams. Out of all teams. A Kansas City Chief. Now, he obviously couldn't go. They couldn't get a lower first round pick. Because that would be the Bucks, And they already got their left tackle. But, um, man. Kansas City Chiefs for him. Well, congrats, Chiefs fans. You got a good guy. You got a good guy. Um, and Ravens. Let's, let's see how they move moving forward. So now they have questions at right tackle. They have questions at the center position. Um, but hey, that's what the rest of free agency and the draft uh, is for. Now now they report saying that they expected to sign um, Alejandro Villanueva. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and will they be willing to give up a comp pick now since they got those picks, even though they gave up some? But will they be willing to give up that comp pick to sign Alejandro Villanueva? If you do that, you might as well get Justin Houston, too. Okay, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Orlando Brown Jr. is with the Ravens, I'm out.